So the cameras. You ready? Ah, oh, exotica. Rome. And we've actually teamed up with Step Back History for this one, so you can actually check out his video on the history of what we're eating today. Which is? Garum. Which is? Well, I found this old recipe. Um, it's from around the 3rd century AD, and uh, by, by Gargilius Marcialis. Who the hell is that? And why do I hate him already? An ancient writer, he had a book on herbs and medicine, and okay. this was in that book. It was a very popular condiment that we're making. From okay. ancient Rome. Like ketchup, and it was just as popular back then. Okay, so they have hot dogs? Uh, they had other meats. Like, let me let me get to the recipe. Um, first, use fatty fish, for example, sardines. This is not a fish dish? Yeah. And a well-sealed container with a 26 to 35 quart capacity. Um, I, I didn't have that. Yeah, I, I, I had a small jar, so I, I made a mini amount. So there's not much of it. There's not much of it. You don't have to worry about it. Then you add dried aromatic herbs possessing a strong flavor, such as dill, coriander, fennel, celery, mint, oregano, and others, making a layer on the bottom of the container. You crammed all of this into a tiny little jar. Tiny little jar, all the bottom. Then you put down a layer of fish. If it's small, then you leave them whole. If it's large, then you use them in pieces. And over this, add a layer of salt two fingers high. Like two fingers? Two fingers. Uh, unfortunately, that was the only actual measurement I could find in this recipe, so I kind of had to guess the rest of the recipe. Oh, come on, you just, you don't guess this. But, this isn't a guessing game. But, you know, I, to the credit of the recipe, I overestimated the salt, as opposed to the other ingredients. Safer, but saltier. Safer, but saltier. You repeat these layers until the container is filled. So, uh, 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 yeah. salt, salt, oil, fish, death, hate? Yeah. You, after you mix all this together, you let it rest for seven days in the sun. Wait a minute, no. See, that's not how you do fish. That's, that's not how you do food. That's how you start this. That's how you get diarrhea. But see, the recipe's not even done yet. After that, you mix the sauce daily for another 20 days. So what I ended up having to do is partway through the creation, I added olive oil because it just got too dry out. Now it's really ruined. What are you doing for 20 days when it's already ruined? Well... After that, it becomes a liquid, and you filter it out. The whole thing becomes liquid? It becomes kind of a mash. I mean, honestly, because of the oh, overestimation that I did, it was it was more of a mash than a liquid. Fishy, um, salty mash. Yeah, but, you know, the finished result is in that cupboard. Fight me. God! I'm not ticklish. <laughs> I've heard it's good, but I can't guarantee that my recipe was accurate. Oh, that makes me nervous. So it's concentrated hatred. Well, it's it's a condiment. You're not supposed to eat a lot of it on your food. So what do you eat it on? I mean, you put a little bit into desserts or into drinks. Some people even put it on, like, steak. We should have steak. Yeah, steak. How much steak? I... We should have steak. We should have steak. Thank you. <laughs> Let's start by just tasting this with something plain. Okay. And move into the steak. Fine. I'm just going to grab some bread right here. <laughs> Smells like the sea. <laughs> but, but not as strong as I was anticipating, to be honest. I've actually... I was expecting this to punch me in the face, and if you can't even smell it from there, like, that's a testament to I the can't, salt. I can't smell it from there, so it's not like, it's not like, just running where it's yeah. just like, no, I once got pulled under a current and I got choked on a bunch of salt water and that was horrendous coming back up. Does this does it smell anything like that? Because you said smell like the sea, I think choking on, on the sea. Uh, I think your memory is something that only you can play off of. So I think that's something you're going to have to figure right. out. You can't have it. Your mind. Oh, it smells like the sea soaking in rotten wood. I don't like that. I, I get the wood part of that. That's it's woody. 
earthy. Very, very earthy. It's very earthy and oh, it's a land and sea sort of thing. I mean, it doesn't even have a like, so. Okay, fine, let's do it. Okay. I'm just gonna go straight yeah. in. Alright. I think I got some of it. Ooh, yeah, you went for it. Oh, did I, did I do too much? I don't did know! Did I do too much? I have no oh, idea. Oh, I don't want to do too much! <laughs> you ready? No, on three. One, two, three. Okay. That's not... That's not bad. I'm not... I'm not freaking out. I'm not disgusted. How many days do you put into this? A month? This doesn't taste like a month's work. <laughs> there is a modern version of this sauce that still survives in Italy today. Okay. I bought some. Oh, there's more? <laughs> From Italy. It's called Colatura di Alici di Cetara. So this is supposedly one of the actual, like, descendants of the original recipe. <laughs> At what point do you think you went really wrong looking at those colors? American ingenuity. <laughs> Where's this from? Italy. Italy ingenuity. Italian ingenuity. Should they do that? Ooh, there's like a salty crust Ew. on the top of that. Why? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's not supposed to be something you eat. I think. Is there an expiration date on this anywhere? It says best before the 31st day of the third month of 2020. My AZ out. It's not supposed to crack, is it? Oh god, I can smell it already. But it smells, it doesn't smell fishy. What is that? I don't know, I, I backed up significantly. Oh, that's an odd scent. What's it smell like? Like funky underwear? during high school gymnasium class. That's that's a pretty rank smell. What are you doing? You're like a kid playing with fireworks, dude. What are you expecting? I don't know, but I'm gonna take this tag off. Oh! It's aged not for one month, but for nine to 12 months. And then it's aged in an oak wood barrel for three to four years. Oh, Jesus, is that doing, hmm. Why? What are they trying to accomplish with it? I've heard that this flavor produces like pure umami. Like when you actually eat it. Like pure savory? Yeah. Okay, that's not what I'm smelling! Cheers? That is not savor. That's very salty. The supreme, you're just less salty. How did mine end up less salty? That's impressive. And you had layers of two things. But I get the umami thing. I'm, I'm, I'm really confused because it smells... Oh, that smells horrendous. It tastes completely different. Ah! Yeah. Why did I do it? It is such a different flavor versus the smell. The smell it smells, smells like the, 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 the gym shorts. I'm not a fan of the aftertaste. It's not disgusting, but it lingers. And combined with that smell, it kind of makes that match. Oh. Take another piece of bread, it'll help. That, that helps wear out the... Oh, you're gonna go for that? Why do I always instigate the second go? It's, a, oh, it's so salty at first. It's so super salty at first. I don't like that. It like, like bites the tongue. Yeah, it's very, very aggressive. It goes much more savory, and it becomes much mm. more tolerable. Almost enjoyable. Um, I don't think I'd ever willingly go for this. But let me be honest. I think just a small amount of this on a steak might not be the worst thing ever. So we're having steak. We're having steak. We're having steak. Which piece? That one. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
It's yeah, it's there. <clears throat> it's fishy. Um, remember, remember when we had beaver and it was kind of uh, river watery? <clears throat> it's kind of like that. It's almost like you're adding the ocean into the steak. I'm not. A, it's not my jam. Not particularly pleasant. So just kind of brush it real quick. Brush it real quick. Oh man. On three. One, two. Ooh, it's sinking me. Okay, now that's good. Stinky, stinky meat doesn't taste that bad. Mm. That tastes really good. I want to get really good. But it's better. Okay, now wait a minute. I'm going to compare that to just plain steak. Okay. I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be very honest. I really dig this on the steak. I don't like the smell. I really don't like the smell. But eating it? That is quite good. Whoa! <laughs> Slow it down a little there. This is like... Mm -hmm. Like, genuinely, that's... That's good. Ouch! Now... Mm, stinky meat! <clears throat> stinky meat. Stinky meat? That's stinky. a lot more than I would have added. But... <laughs> <laughs> but it's not yeah, bad. That's not bad. It's like a funky cheese. I've had a Limburger. It stinks. It really stinks. But when I'm eating meat, I don't want my meat to stink, because that means my meat is bad. Here, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do a dribble. Oh, I'm surprised I'm enjoying it. <laughs> so, here's what's funny. <laughs> with, the, with the bread, <laughs> his oil, his homemade weird concoction, was actually pretty good. That, not so much. It was weird. I don't know why. This somehow sucks with bread. Oh, that smell. But with the steak, incredibly rank. I'm having trouble leaning over. Alright, well, I'm gonna put a big giant piece of meat in my mouth. You could talk about science and historical on this for a second. Well, for the history, I highly recommend checking out Step Back History. He just did a video on the history of this dish. I highly recommend checking it out. I'll go ahead and say it. I think it's fantastic. Fantastic Beast! Such a nerd. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Um, I'm also garishly shocked. I would be genuinely afraid to cook with this. Did that smell growing in the room? No, I do. Okay. Uh, how do we want to tie this up? Did you have any idea for an ending yet? No, because I didn't know what this would taste like. <laughs> <laughs> completely thrown me <laughs> off my guard. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go ahead and eat my steak for the rest of this filming. Something's wrong with me. You've done this to me. Look what you've done to me! I learned from watching you, okay? Thanks for watching Fantastic Beasts! And way to find them. Please like, comment, subscribe. As you subscribe, press that little notification button, the little bell icon. I will get you updates as soon as they happen. Mmm. Oh god, I can't. Oh, oh god! Oh no! What'd you oh do? God. What'd you do? <laughs> no! Mm. Mm. Oh, it stinks so bad. Quick update, everyone. No! The professor spilt it. He oh. spilt it. It's all over the cork. It's all over the light. Look at him. He's gagging. This man is not well. Oh, I smell it now. I'm going here. Professor, anything to say? How do you feel? Oh god. Oh god. Do you need me to call anyone? Um... Get some rosemary from the backyard. So I can stuff it up my nose. <laughs> rosemary. Okay, let's keep it easy for the kid. <laughs> That was so bad! Oh my god! We're back! <laughs>